Welcome to my brand new video series, Amateur Magic. Shit. Ah. I'm totally joking, by the way. This will not be about amateur magic. Uh, I live in Chengdu, as many people know, and Chengdu was the first Asian city to be named a UNESCO city of gastronomy. I guess that's pretty good. That means there's good food here. It's part of the reason why I moved here. And I found these cards in a souvenir shop. They have a bunch of different dishes on them. Dishes from Sichuan. Each card has a different dish. And they actually have a write-up about it, what it is. Um, it's all in Chinese. But there's a name, a description, and then a place where you can try the dish. So I'm going to shuffle up the cards. And I'm going to pick one. And then I'm going to hunt for the dish. Find the dish somewhere in the city. Try it and let you guys know how it is, share it with you guys. So it's 54 cards in a, in a deck. So this uh, should last a while. I'm gonna try to do a video a week doing this. Um, you know, it was my goal coming here to try as much food as possible, and this is a pretty good way to motivate me to do that. So let's shuffle them up and see what the first dish will be. Something you can ride to and vibe to I'm just giving you the keys to survive Never let society tell you how to begin living your life By following the norm and trends I warn my friends, don't get blinded by the media I'd rather be myself, take flight, got a speedy on speed die. And meanwhile, my dream right beside me with a smile She like. It's a beautiful day in the do today, a beautiful day in the do And I'm headed over to a restaurant to get some ants on a tree uh, this dish is pretty popular in Sichuan. It's not too hard to find. I know a place that serves it. I think they still serve it. I remember translating a menu when I first went there and thinking ants on a tree, that sounds gross. I don't want that. But now I know what it is and I'm pretty excited to try it for the first time. No. Nio Ma Yi Shang Shu. in here. I'm surprised how busy it is. I was hoping, I came a little bit later than lunchtime. I was hoping to quiet down. I was hoping they'd have their tables out front. They don't. Um, so it might be a loud, a loud video. Ooh, it's like deep fried corn or something. Um, this place has got tons of good food. But uh, today, Ma Yi Shang Shu, or ants climbing a tree. It's um, it's basically glass noodles in a sauce with ground pork on it. Oh. Bam! There it is. It's actually pretty common in China for food to to have a story behind it, and of course something called ants climbing up a tree is going to have a story. A woman was taking care of her mother-in-law and she wanted to cook her something delicious so she went to the market she wanted to get some pork for her. She couldn't afford pork. She could only afford a tiny piece so she chopped it up really small, cooked it up, served it with these noodles, gave it to her mother-in-law and her mother-in-law thought there were ants crawling on it. The glass noodles are supposed to be the tree branches, the scallions are like leaves and then the ground pork that's mixed in here are the ants that are climbing up the tree. All right, I'm gonna dig into it. Um, kind of a hard thing to eat and I don't think I'm gonna finish all this, but. Mm. Oh yeah, the flavor is really good. I'm not huge on cellophane noodles or glass noodles, but this is really good. Oh, a nice spicy kick. Cellophane noodles or glass noodles are made from mung bean paste. It's a different texture. It's kind of a rubbery, they call them glass noodles because you can see through them, kind of, um, after you cook them. The sauce is made up of usually like a dark soy sauce, oil, uh, chicken broth. Um, sometimes they'll put rice wine in it. But the magic ingredient is the doubanjian. Doubanjian is a fermented bean paste. Uh, usually they'll use lab doubanjian, which is a spicy fermented bean paste. Um, 
And it's basically, they take broad beans and they ferment it for a really long time. It's like this rich taste, hard to describe. I would say kind of a fermented umami taste to it, but not like unpleasant or not too strong. Mixed with the spiciness of the peppers. I watched a video about it today and the girl was talking about how she puts it on an egg. She'll cook up an egg and put a little dab on it and poke a hole in the egg so the yolk mixes with it. I'm, I mean, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm spending my day just doing that. It sounds amazing. So to make this, they'll soak the meat and like kind of marinate it in the sauce and, uh, and soak the noodles in the water. That's how you cook the noodles basically. They don't take too much. Some hot water soakage. Then they'll fire up the wok, put some ginger and some garlic in it, and throw the meat and the sauce in it, cook the meat up, and then at the end they'll throw the noodles in and just mix it all up inside the wok. <clears throat> okay, I can't eat anymore. I'm super full. I'm gonna go sit and digest for like three hours. But uh, you guys should tune in next week, same time, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put a, another video out on Thursday. Um, same thing, flip a card, whatever the dish is, I go out and find it, taste it, and uh, report about it. So stay tuned for that, and also on Tuesday I'll be putting another video out. I would subscribe, and then once you subscribe there's a little bell icon, you can hit that, and it'll notify you every time a new video is out, so you can just get that little reminder. And you can watch the videos right away, follow along, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.